So, you know, this time of year, the biggest question that we get most often is, you know, people with teachers, people that have extra time off in yeah. the summer months is, can I start an herb garden now? Yeah. Have I missed my window? <laughs> and our answer is... No, you have no. not. I have not missed it. <laughs> no, no. In fact, everything that you see in this herb house is appropriate to plant at this time. In fact, some of us standing here have planted these very things within the recent memory of yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. exactly. And there is not okay. a day that I'm not planting, planting or clipping and something. And me, yes. exactly. So, I, in just a moment, I'm going to ask you for your top five picks for starting a summer herb garden. Ah. But I, <laughs> no pressure. But I do want to talk briefly about the importance of the site that you're choosing. Yes. First of all, we need to pick your sunniest location. Yes. We need to pick a spot with very good drainage. Yes. If we don't have that, we need to build up an area. Of course, use Arborgate Soil Complete. Uh, maybe amend an area that you have. And don't don't discount your existing beds. No. I mean, a lot of these plants are great landscape plants. Right, right, right. So, absolutely. Yeah. They are multi-purpose plants, to be honest. People don't need to think of them as things to cook with or things to make flower arrangements with. They're multi-purpose plants and have been for centuries. And some of our better deer-resistant choices yes, as well. absolutely. And drought-tolerant and heat-tolerant. Yep. Therefore, so so you appropriate need, so to plant. Everything. They're everything tolerant. Yeah, they Even really people are. tolerant. <laughs> <laughs> so another consideration when we're choosing our location that we were talking about earlier is access to water. Oh, yes. And that, you know, that is so easily overlooked. But basically, no matter where you're standing relative to your new garden, your new bed, you need to be able to get water easy and fast. Right. You don't need to be dragging a hose all the way across the back garden right. to, to get there. And so you have to think about multi-possibilities. Right. For, and you don't want to be carrying water in a bucket. No. That's not good for us. No. <laughs> so uh, just get just get a, wired up for water as many places that you, as you can. Right. And oftentimes with a lot of the herbs, too, an overhead watering system is not our best solution. Right. And it, if true. at all possible, hook you up a little drip system or something that you can water, not so much the foliage, especially given our humidity right, right. And, and periods of rain. But if in speaking to that, right now we're getting great rain. Yeah. So if you get a good inch of water a week, yeah. you're basically done, you're done for the week. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. And it never hurts to check the moisture level of the of the soil around the plants that you've planted. I use the finger test quite often. Is there any dampness down there at all? Right, and, and it's inches deep, yeah. not at the surface. No, no, inches deep. And right. I really think being familiar with it, it's like being familiar with your cake dough. It has yeah. to be just right. Exactly, exactly. And also don't let it confuse you or fool you having wilt in the heat of the day just oh, right, right. just from the heat, right. especially a newly planted plant. Right. So really be mindful not to overwater. Right, right, right. That's a hard, I think the hardest thing in the summertime. It, it is hard in the summer, it is. And it's really hard not to go out at the end of the day and try to make up for, uh-oh, they wilted all afternoon, I must water them now. Maybe not, yeah. wait till tomorrow morning. Exactly. So we talked about it a little bit earlier, so now I'm going to put you on the spot. Oh. What are your top five choices for planting or starting mm -hmm. an herb garden in the summer months? Right now, if I did it and I have recently redone a large bed, mm -hmm. I would start with basil because okay. it is a, such a great favorite. Yeah. And I would plant the other huge favorites. Um, for gardeners as well as, as cooks, and that's thyme and rosemary mm -hmm. for sure, and several varieties of those with different colorations, different looks, and different uh, 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 texture. Uh, form, texture. Yeah. They add different things to the garden. Right, right. So it, when you come to the Arbor Gate and you look through here, look for things that appeal to your eye yes. as well, and then say, okay, will this work in my bed? Right. 
Is that is that going to work? Well, it mint, for example. Will that work in my bed? Do I want thirty acres of mint in the back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask no, all the, mint field. the questions. Yeah, the yes. mint feel. So uh, it, it's a, such a great experience to think of starting a garden. I mean, it's very yes. exciting to me to think of starting a garden. I didn't start a garden this year, but I did revive one that was fading fast. Right. And I had to take all the first plants out. Yeah. And throw them away and start over. And that's hard to do. It's very as a hard gardener. to do. It's very yeah. hard. Yeah. So we talked about thyme. Yeah. And basil. And, and, and rosemary. rosemary. We got two more choices. Oh. Okay. How about chives? Almost indestructible. Almost indestructible and productive throughout the year. Yes. And mint. Yes. Which we mentioned and which we want to be carefully cognizant of its wandering. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it tends to do that. And sage. But, and sage. But the reason I mention mint is it adds so much flavor to so many different kinds That's of true. things. That's Drinks true. Drinks and, and fruits and everything. But, but it is a, a, you know, it'll do everything. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't think of any herbs in this house that I would recommend that people just not plant. Exactly. Just don't do that. Don't don't go there. Don't go there. I, I can't see any that I no. would say that. I've grown them all. Yeah. yeah. Some, some of them in my own greenhouse. But actually, um, they're all worth So the takeaway is, it is never too late to plant herbs. Never. It's never too late, and it's never not fun. That's right. <laughs> you never get surprised. Thanks, Anne. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.